Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain you the concept of the structure of our digital certificate that is X.509. In the previous video, we have learned about the concept of what do you mean by digital certificate and what are the different entities are involved in the creation of digital certificate. So the first of all, that is the end user. Second one is certification authority and third one is registration authority. The end user who are using that particular certificate, the certification authority will issue the certificate to the end user and they are authenticating the certificate from end user. The registration authority will use to register the certificate on their own database and they are trying to keeping the all users public key in their database. So these are the all three entities are involved in the creation and using of the digital certificate. So here we are using the concept of this X.509. This is the format of our digital certificate and which consists of different fields. So here there are three versions of our digital certificate X.509. It is called as a standard and that is defined the structure of our digital certificate. And the current version that we are using that is version number 3. And this version is called as X.509 version 3. And this is the format that is shown in that figure. So the first parameter is version. So it defines which version number that we are using. So we are using this version number 3. Now each and every certificate is having their own serial number that is called as a serial ID. So the second parameter is second field is certificate serial number. The third field is signature algorithm identifier. So which algorithm we are using for signing the certificate that should be mentioned in our certificate that is called as a signature algorithm identifier. So whether it is MD5 algorithm or RSA algorithm, it depends on certification authority they are using to encrypt their data with the help of this signature algorithm. Now the period of validity will be mentioned that is the expiry will be mentioned in our certificate. Then subject name that is who have to assign the particular certificate that is name of the subject will be mentioned. Then here the public key information is specified in our certificate and based on the public key user will be accessed based on the certificate data. Now the issuer unique identity will be there that is who have to issue the certificate that is your subject name and who are issuing that particular certificate that is issuer ID will be mentioned and subject unique ID will be mentioned here those who have assigned the certificate that is ID and those who are assigning that particular certificate that is also mentioned in our certificate. Now in the extension field these are the additional information will be provided in the extension field. And then last is signature. So signature will be specified in our digital certificate that is mentioned in the last field. So there are three versions of that particular certificate that is our X.509. So in the version one, only till public key information, this information will be available and these fields will be available. In the version two, the two fields will be added that is issuer unique identifier and the subject unique identifier. These two parameters are added in version number two. And in version number three, we have added here the concept of extension. That is the additional information will be provided in the digital certificate. So there are two things will be added in our X.509 that is certificate renewal and certificate revocation. When the validity period will be expire, the period will be renewed by the certification authority. 
so user has to request for certificate renewal and the certification authority will accept that particular request and they can renew the end users certificate and the certification authority will issue the new certificate before the old one will be expired in the certificate revocation user have to use their own private key and that has to be compromised on their own private key if certification authority is no longer authorized to provide their certificate then the private key has been compromised by the certification authority and the request will be revoked the certificate will be revoked from the user and this will be revoked by the certification authority who has the authority to issue and revoke and renew the certificates so this is called as a x.509 certificate format and we are using the different versions that is version number 2 version number 1 and version number 3 here so 1 2 3 these are the three versions and we are using the current version that is version number 